Today on Growth Shares, let's compare which company, Tesla or Toyota Motors, makes a better long-term investment. If you want to go into depth with the grades for each company, there's a link to each of those videos in the description below. What this video is about is to compare between two companies and see whether which one makes a better long-term investment. Of course, you could invest in both companies, but if you had to pick only one, which one would it be? We're going to go over the three factors for each company and compare them, the business, the stock, and the price. Then we'll add them together and get a final grade. Whichever company has a higher grade is, according to my analysis, the better long-term investment. First, let's compare the business of each company. The business factor is made up of eight metrics, each weighted differently. And if you want to know more about these metrics, there's a separate video explaining all that, link in the description below. The business factor is basically how good is the business? Does the company have a good business going? Here's the comparison between both companies on a grade from 1 to 100. Next, let's compare the stock of each company. The stock factor is made up of five metrics, each weighted differently, and an explanation of each metric is provided in a separate video, link in the description below. The stock factor is basically how good the company's stock has been doing and how well it may go in the future. Here's the comparison between both companies on a grade from 1 to 100. Next up, let's compare the price of each company. The price factor is made up of one metric, the intrinsic value. Intrinsic value is basically the fair value price of the company using a discounted cash flow model. Here's the comparison between both companies on a grade from 1 to 100. And before we reveal the final grade of each company, consider becoming a Patreon member. For only $2 per month, you'll receive a spreadsheet of every grade from every company I've analyzed on this channel. It's continually updated, so check it out. So here's the final grade of each company, giving us a clear picture of which company is the better long-term investment. Remember, if you want to know more about each company and how I came up with their grades, I've left a link to each video's analysis in the description below. Let me know what you're invested in and if you agree with this comparison. What other companies should I compare next? Leave a comment below and consider subscribing to Growth Shares. And as always, take care of your money.